when the seasons change, it's nice to just sit outside and enjoy the cool breeze. But wouldn't it be nice to bring the cool air inside your home? Well, now you can. Today we're going to install a whole house cooling system that will bring the cool air inside. And by doing that, you will save on your energy bills as well. It's a simple do-it-yourself project. Come on, I'll show you how. This is the whole house cooling system that we're installing. It's made by Timorek Technologies and it can be operated by remote control. Here's how it works. Open a door or window and turn the fan on. It draws the cool air inside and ventilates the hot air up through the attic. Now you want to install the fan preferably in the center of your home to get good airflow. So we're going to install it in this hallway. We're going to replace the light and use the existing power to operate the fan. Make sure that you turn the power off first anytime you're working with electricity as we've done here. As soon as I get this light down, we can measure and mark the ceiling to cut out our hole for the fan. To make sure that you cut out the correct size opening for your fan, make a template first. This is the packaging that comes with the fan and this is the grill that's going to cover the fan. I'm going to line this up on both this edge here and also this bottom edge and that way all I have to do is make two cuts. Now, I'm also going to mark this on the inside of the grill which is here and that's because you need to leave an overhang so that you can screw the grill into the drywall. If I marked it on the outside and cut around that then the opening would be the same size as the grill and I wouldn't have anything to attach it to. Now that I've got the template made I need to determine if I'm going to install the fan this way or this way. I'm assuming since there's an outlet box there that that's screwed into a joist but I've got a stud finder just to make sure. Okay good it is. Now I need to determine if it's running this way or that way so I'm going to start here. Okay good that's what I thought it's running this way. I just need to find the other one on the other side which is here. Okay that'll work out perfect. Now we can install the fan this way and it will sit in between the two joists. Center this up between the two joists using your marks and then trace around it so you can cut out the opening. I'm going to use a keyhole saw to cut out this opening, but here's a safety tip. Always go up into the attic first just to make sure there aren't any electrical wires that you might cut into. We've already been up there and checked it out and we're clear. Also, wear safety glasses so the ceiling particles or the insulation from the attic doesn't fall into your eye. You can punch this up in the ceiling with your palm and then make your cut. Here are the joists that I was talking about. They're running this way. So what I need to do next is cut two boards, one to run this way and the other one to go at this end. And what we're doing is creating a box for the fan to sit down into. Now the reason that we want to do that is to get a good seal around our box so that it's more efficient and only drawing the hot air up from the house and ventilating through the attic. As soon as I get my measurements, I can go cut the boards. With these two boards in place, this creates the box effect that I was talking about. I'm using two inch wood screws and I'm going to screw these in at an angle to attach this to the joist. Now we're ready to wire the fan and we're using the existing wire from the light that we took down to power the fan. To wire the fan, connect the like colors together. In other words, black to black, and this is your hot wire. The white wires are your neutral wires, and I'm using a wire nut to connect these together. And then the copper wire with the green wire is the ground wire. Lost that wire nut. Now you can see that we have a few extra wires in the bottom of the box, which are these. That's so if you want to hardwire this to a switch, you can do that. Or if you're not comfortable working with electricity, you can always call in an electrician to do it for you. But for our application today, we're just wiring this for the remote control. 
Before I drop the fan into place, I need to add the seal that comes in the kit. Now, I've already cut four pieces to fit around the box. Once I peel off that backing, the adhesive will make this stick to the top of the joist. The reason that I'm adding this is so that when we set the fan in place on top of this, like that, the weight of the fan will efficiently seal this boxed area. I'm going to rotate this fan up through the opening and the flange will sit right on top of the joists. The last thing that I need to do is screw this grill into place, which will be right here. But before I do that, I want to make sure this fan works. The fan has trap doors that sit on top and they're double insulated. Once the doors open up, that activates the switch to turn the fans on and that will draw the hot air out of your house. When they're closed, that keeps the hot air from being drawn into the home. Now we can enjoy the cool air inside as well as outside.